Welcome to Water Talk, a water online podcast showcasing today's water industry leaders and innovators. And now, here is today's host. Good morning and welcome to Water Talk. I am your host, Todd Schnick, joined today by a gentleman who, gosh, I think I've known now for feels like almost a decade. I've had the pleasure of getting to know him over the years uh, through this show. It's uh, I'm sad that we're not face-to-face as we normally are at Ace 20, but unfortunately, we still get a chance to spend some time together. Maury Gaston, my friend, good to see you. How are you? I'm Todd, doing well. Thank you. Good, good, good. Maury is the Manager of Marketing Services for American Ductile Iron Pipe and American Spiral Weld Pipe. He's also the Vice Chair of American Water Works Association A21 Committee that develops standards for all ductile iron products. And he's also the Chairman of the Alabama Iron and Steel Council, part of Manufacture Alabama. Maury, what's going on with American? Well, thank you, Todd. Business has been steady. Actually, we're very pleased about that and hopeful that it continues and taking steps to ensure that as well as we can. Our industry is all building and construction products. It lags the economy because of that. It takes a good while for our projects to progress from conceptualization to funding to bidding to construction, which leads to our manufacture and shipment of pipe. So our activity is about two years behind the general economy, and I find this to be consistent with my friends, other industries. Yeah, no doubt about that. So what's up with you and your work at American? Well, thanks, Todd. We've got a very strong technical conference schedule this summer. The audiences, in fact, may turn out to be larger as virtual events. I was in a video meeting last week for the AWWA conference. and We had twice as many participants as the usual in-person attendance. But at the end of the day, just like you mentioned, I miss the in-person opportunities. Yeah, no doubt about that. There's something about that camaraderie of being together, but we do what we must to get through these strange, strange times. All right. So uh, if I've known you, uh, Maury, all these years, uh, you do spend a lot of time uh, at conferences and do a lot of uh, lecturing and helping the people better understand opportunities in this industry. So what are some of these conferences you referenced and the topics? And I know you've presented a number of times at, at, at all these conferences. Well, thank you, Todd. I chuckled when you said lecturing. Uh, I, I prefer speaking, but that's okay. Now, my daughter might call it lecturing. Who Understood. Knows? This is the NACE conference, the National Association of Corrosion Engineers. It's their flagship conference each year with more than 20,000 participants, literally from all around the world. And that's one reason that it was postponed in March and rescheduled for June. And now it's going online uh, in its entirety. But the results and the impact of the conference are substantial and the proceedings will be published. So walk us through that. How so and what will your contribution be? We did a study in the Everglades. That's the most corrosive soil environment in North America. We buried ductile iron pipe specimen, coated with zinc, top coated with a finishing layer, and wrapped in V-Bio polyethylene encasement. We then monitored the results with corrosion probes and exhumed them. In my hometown of Sylacauga, we might say we dug them up. (laughs) So what did you find? Well, we found excellent results. And this was a controlled environment. We wanted to simulate real-world conditions as best as we could. So we had some intentional damage to both the wrap and the pipe prior to burial. The wrap damage consisted of a quarter-inch hole, a three-inch slit, and a one-inch equilateral triangle being cut out, further exposing the zinc-coated pipe. And then most significantly, we intentionally damaged the zinc coating and the finishing layer top coat by grinding them away, exposing bare metal. Wow, fascinating. So what happened? What were the results? Well, we had corrosion probes in place. They measured a corrosion rate of 0.15 mils per year. That translates, and by the way, that's one five with a bunch of zeros in front of it and the word inch on the other side. That translates to a penetration period of 1,666 years through the thinnest iron pipe wall. It proves in the most corrosive soil environment in North America that zinc-coated and V-bio wrapped polyethylene encased ductile iron pipe is long-lasting and resilient. It's tangible scientific evidence 
that zinc supports V-Bio and V-Bio supports zinc coating. Yeah, that is fascinating. So, uh, Maureen, how can we learn more about this? Well, the paper, as I said, will be presented in the NACE conference proceedings, and soon afterwards it will be linked on our website, www.american-usa.com. Also, I'm happy to conduct the NACE presentation in an online format to any group who would like to have a presentation set up, and I'll discuss the study and the results from it. If anyone's interested in such a meeting, they can contact me at mgaston at american-usa.com. They can contact us through our website portal. They can call me by phone at 205-325-7803, or they can use a special email address, request a meeting at american-usa.com. And by the way, this is eligible for CEU credits, and we'd be happy to document that for anyone who wanted to have a presentation. All right. So that was Maury Gaston. He is the manager of marketing services for American Ductile Iron Pipe and American Spiral Weld Pipe. Maury, good to see you. We'll see you again very soon. All right. So on behalf of all of us at Water Online, thanks for tuning in to Water Talk. And you can learn more about us at wateronline.com. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon on Water Talk.